Well, hello, it's your butch best friend uh, coming to you today uh, with the answering a request that has been made. Um, several requests have asked me to uh, share my coming out story. So instead of cigar content today, I'm going to share my coming out story and then you can ignore it or you can enjoy it or do whatever you want. Uh, so I came out when I was 22. I was married to a man, um, very nice guy, and um, he was in the Navy and he used to spend six months away at sea. And one of the times that he spent six months away, I started thinking about all the times that I used to, as a kid, five years old, watch adult men in my life to see how they treated a woman. I've always watched how to order wine, what's a good scotch, like all these real male things. And that's long before you would think I'd make a choice for that. So no, I've been born this way. So back to 22, he was gone on a six month deployment and I absolutely could not stop dreaming about my friends. People I wasn't even attracted to, just women. Um, Every night, different dream, different person. I couldn't even look him in the face. It was so weird. So he got back from his six month deployment and we were out um, playing racquetball one day shortly after he got home. And I was playing with him and all I could think of was, he is such a great friend, but that's all I feel. So when we got home, I told him uh, that I needed to go, um, that it wasn't working. I didn't tell him why, because I hadn't even come out to myself yet. Um, went over, drove over to my mom's house, told her. She wasn't surprised at all. Um, went and told some other friends. Told this one gal who was a friend of mine. If uh, I said that I had left my husband and she said, um, oh, great. Can I, does that mean I can kiss you now? Okay, um, yeah, and as soon as she did, man, I knew instantly that was me, that was who I am, that's what I needed. Never felt that way before about love, never felt that way before about romance, anything. Um, so this was a life-changing moment. So um, I eventually did tell my husband, and obviously we got divorced, but um, I eventually did tell him uh, that I was gay, and... Um, that didn't go well. He proceeded to tell everybody that I knew. I was on the volunteer fire department at that time, and he told as many of those guys as he possibly could. So, to finish it up, um, I left, I was in Oak Harbor. I left Oak Harbor. Uh, I moved, and uh, this is Washington State. I moved into closer to Seattle and um, started trying to piece my life back together. Um, I lost all my friends on the fire department, 40 some guys, none of them wanted to talk to me. None of them would. Um, I lost a lot of friends, but the ones that are really important to me, I didn't lose. The ones that really stuck with me, I didn't lose. And so that's what I'm trying to share now is just a little bit of love and positivity and knowing that there's support out there. So that's my story. I was 22. I'm 49 now. So been out for a long time. Um, it's definitely had its moments. Uh, I came out in 1992. So, um, cause I'm hella old. And, uh, when I came out being gay, wasn't really something that was acceptable at all. Uh, Ellen hadn't happened yet, you know, and, uh, it was tough. I've been, I've been catcalled. I've been yelled at. I've been threatened. I've been run off the road. I've been shot at. Um, I've been all sorts of things. Excuse me, not shot at. A gun was displayed in my direction, so didn't go off. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's had its bad times, but for all the bad times, tons and tons and tons of great times. 
and living in my truth, living who I am, being who I am, has been the best decision I ever made in my life. So that's it. I'm done. You're done with the story, and uh, you can go look at my cigar videos instead.